My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here with another review for Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. And this is the third episode, and it's titled Forget Me Not. In this episode, Alice and Nave, uh, they go after this uh, item called the Forget Me Not, which pretty much can kind of show them a window of, a, of the past in the place that they are seeing it through to be able to find out who took Cyrus's bottle and uh, when they go after it uh, they ha encounter the creature known as Grendel and uh, we had seen some flashbacks in this episode on Knave's past I guess once he was in living in the enchanted forest and he was one of Robin Hood's merry men I was a little shocked I mean I saw that picture I wish I hadn't seen the picture but I saw that but uh, you know in in those flashbacks we also found out who this um, Anastasia is and uh, and pretty much how Nave came to be in Wonderland. And uh, overall, I thought this uh, episode was good, mainly because of finding out a little bit about Nave, because I'm not sure if he was due to the show or a character in the story. So it was nice to see a little bit of a backstory on him, because it was like one of the things I wanted ever since this show had started. Because he was a character I had never even heard of. I really haven't. But uh, I thought it was interesting bringing in Grendel, which, if you're not familiar with it, Grendel is a creature from the story known as Beowulf. Which I, I watched like two different movies and read it in um, English class of my senior year of high school. I graduated three years ago, so just so you know. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm like, I don't really consider that a fairy tale, but hey, Frankenstein is a fairy tale, and we saw that. But I think that's just a good way to expand on it. And plus, it's a piece of literature, so I mean, I think it makes sense kind of putting it in there. I really do. And, uh, I mean, I just liked what this uh, episode was mainly about, really. And uh, kind of looking forward to what happens next with the story. And uh, I really do hope we have some more little crossover stuff with regular Once Upon a Time. Which we know we'll see multiple things in this first season. And... Something, I want to say, spoiler alert, before I say this, um, is said that Korra will be set to be shown in flashbacks. So, maybe some, how the Red Queen became the Queen, maybe has something to do with Korra. Probably. But, um, that's pretty much it for my review. Let me know in the comments section below your thoughts and opinions on this episode. And um, also, do you think it was good putting in a Beowulf character? I, I thought it was fine. But uh, as always, for more news and reviews on movies, video games, comic books, and more, you can go to DKBN.net and celebrate your nerd in a big way. I'm Jimmy. Until next time, bye.